I just got back from offshore and I heard about it and pretty surprised, but mm -hmm. got to be careful. Brandon Miller says nothing ever happens in his Bell Chase neighborhood and all the families know each other. We all hang out with kids and all play together and all and, uh, you know, we caught the bus. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you never know what goes behind closed doors. Yeah, there's a lot of children in the neighborhood. We all, uh, I'm friends with all the parents, everybody up and down the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. We all get together. We bought all the kids Christmas gifts. You know, we're all very close. That's why neighbors were alarmed last week to see such a heavy police presence just a couple of doors away. We have very, very low crime around here. So if you see a cop going on, it's, you know, kind of unusual. The unusual ended with an arrest for a crime unthinkable for these neighbors. Brian Amy booked with more than 100 counts of possession of child pornography involving children under the age of 13. Absolutely disgusting. Uh -huh. uh, I just, I don't even know what kind of words to describe it. I was shocked. Uh, got a, you know, scary. Amy had been living in the neighborhood for a short time, staying at the home of a friend. We talked to the homeowner who declined an on-camera interview, but tells us he had no clue what Brian Amy was up to and that he handed over any items that may help police with their investigation. It's a case that stretches from Plaquemines Parish to Canada and involves multiple police agencies. Officials tell us this investigation is far from over.